How long can they keep us in Asteroid City, legally, I mean? Well, I'm not an attorney, but I'd say as long as they like. I think we'd have to file an injunction and successfully argue the case six months to a year. Of course, we'd also need to initiate a civil suit for a loss of income. Maybe we should just walk out right now. I'm not sure they could stop us without killing somebody. Interesting idea. What kind of mileage do you think that jetpack gets? Ask Roger or his son. Apparently, he's been prosecuted for revealing state secrets. I'll never make it stick. I'm in no hurry. I like the desert. I like aliens. Paul! How'd you get that back? The projects remain under secure lockdown. No stargazers permitted personal access without the express My permission. My son invented this death ray. That may be true, but my Step orders back. are... Easy, fellas. We're not in Guadalcanal okay, anymore. Okay, okay, everyone, please. It's been a typical quarantine. I'll you stop stop you right now! God damn it, tell him to stand down! Stand down! You hear that? General Gibson says stand down. Are you married? Of course. This isn't the beginning of something, Augie. Isn't it? Is it? Probably not. Unless maybe it is. I don't like the way that guy looked at us. What guy? The alien. Well, how did he, how did he look Like at we're us? doomed. Maybe we are. You took a picture of me. Uh-huh. Why? I'm a photographer. You didn't ask permission. I never ask permission. Why not? Because I work in trenches, battlefields, and combat zones. Really? Uh-huh. You mean you're a war photographer? Mostly. Sometimes I cover sporting events. My name is Augie Steenbeck. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with that? That picture? Huh. Well... If it's any good, I guess I'll try to sell it to a magazine, now that you mention it. Midge Campbell, eating a waffle. I strongly question whether your daughter's silly putty resembles anything from outer space. It's not silly sorry, putty. It's called it. s'mores tosium. This is excellent. Thank you. It's really all the machine's doing. What the devil do you know about what? astrogeology anyway, JJ, whatever that stands for? I just maintain the workings. Sally's thesis is supported by... Flimsy, outdated evidence. I beg your pardon. Not in my opinion. I like the silly putty or s'mores tosium. In fact, I just quoted what he said. Your son's project might very well have killed us all today, by the way. Coming from the family that brought us the electromagnetic it's death ray. It's a weapon. Of course it's lethal. So you admit it. Not to mention Brainiac's flag. I mean, is he trying to provoke World War III or something? The jet propulsion belt is eminently safe. I allowed an eight-year-old boy to operate it. In fact, I did. Ricky's cousin Chip, and he broke the solo flight altitude record. They're strange, aren't they? They're children, compared to normal people. Yes, that's correct. It's true. Mm. Hello. 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 We met before. I'm the mother of that cookie trooper who idolizes you. I know. But you might not recognize me out of the uniform. You were very good in the one about the tramp in the brothel Thank who you. gets amnesia and Thank becomes you. a pediatrician. You were very it's authentic. Actually, maybe my favorite character ever. I don't favorite. know why nobody else liked it. Oh, yes. Me neither. Thank you. Some people liked it. Oh, I'm sure I did. Hope you're aware. You and your accomplices may still face felony prosecution, possibly even a treason charge. I'll fight it all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary and win. This just in from the president. He's furious. Thanks a lot, Ricky. I don't know what to say, General Gibson. I'm don't sorry. Don't apologize, Dad. The public has a right to the truth. You made your point. This tribunal is a mockery! What about Steenbeck, who took the photograph? It's on the front page of every newspaper on the planet. Can't we arrest him as well? Unfortunately, no. He dropped a print in the mail to his photo agency first thing Tuesday morning, and the postman got it before we did. He's innocent. Supposedly, he did a nude of Mitch Campbell, too. Mitch mm. Campbell? Mitch Campbell. You're not here. We're not there. The car exploded. Come get the girls. I have to stay here with Woodrow. I'm not the chauffeur. I'm the grandfather. Where are you? Asteroid City, Farm Route 6, Mile 75. Last train. Junior stargazers and space cadets. Each year we celebrate Asteroid Day, commemorating September 23rd, 3007 BC, when the arid plains meteorite made Earth impact. Holy Toledo, that's Mitch Campbell. You were very good in the one about the tramp in the brothel Thank who you. gets amnesia and Thank becomes you. a pediatrician. You were very awesome. Actually, maybe my favorite character ever. I don't know why nobody else liked it. Oh. What do those pulses indicate? What? Oh, the beeps and blips? We don't know. Some of our information about outer space may no longer be completely accurate. 
Anyway, there's still only nine planets in the solar system as far as we know, Billy. Except now there's an alien. What's happening now? I don't know. I don't like the way that guy looked at us. The alien. How did you, how did he look? Like we're doomed. Maybe we are. I've just informed the president. How long can they keep us in Asteroid City, legally? The world will never be the same. That's an alien doing Jeffy Jacks. That's an alien in a top hat. What's out there? The meaning of life. Maybe there is one. Are you married? I'm a widower. But don't tell my kids. You're saying her mother died three weeks ago. Let's say she's in heaven. Which doesn't exist for me, of course, but you're Episcopalian. In my loneliness, I learned to give complete and unquestioning faith to the people I love. I don't know if that includes you, but it included my daughter and your four children. Sometimes I think I feel more at home outside the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, wow. Me too. They're strange, aren't they? They're children. Compared to normal people. Yes, that's correct. It's true. Mm -hmm. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. I do a nude scene. You want to see it? Huh? Did I say yes? You didn't say anything. Uh, I meant yes. My mouth, my mouth didn't speak. Here we go. And Asteroid City, we wanted a slightly exaggerated desert desert to set a play. I had a thought that we might find a place that was very, very flat and open and build our rocks and build our town. The place where we filmed, Chinchon, uh, about an hour from Madrid. Well, if you want flat land and you decide you want to shoot in Europe, I think you'll soon find yourself in Spain. Quite a perfect spot for us to do this and with the right amount of room. Another 10 paces forward, Sandy. You see that wonderful crackly patch right out there between the dead cactuses and the dried up riverbed? I think so. That's your parcel. We laid it out and we made miniature rocks and we figured it out for the location. We had originally looked at locations. Ultimately, the more time we spent looking at images of different places, the more I started to feel like I wanted a bit of each rather than building it in a real landscape to instead create a bit of the landscape as part of the play. Lunch time. Line up single file. Lunchtime. Line up single file. Lunchtime. Line up single file. My word. Hot. Asteroid City, the town itself, slowly in the course of time, Adam Stockhausen and I working together on this, I guess the thing was to try to make buildings that were as evocative of the time as we possibly could. And it's interesting and they, they could be in the place always needed to have a certain mystery. You know, there's a, a freeway on ramp there that goes to nowhere. There's a crater on the edge of the town and an observatory and the various things we needed for our story. We built it all, and the great thing was that it was a place where we could work with a very small group. Which way did he go? Hmm, well... Once it was built, we could be a tiny group in this what seemed like an abandoned town. We could golf cart ourselves to the set every day and back home and work just the way I like to work, which is the actors come to the set ready to shoot, already in costume, and there's no trailers and there's no trucks anywhere that you can see them, and we can be a bit like a student film. So we were a student film on an enormous giant set in the middle of Spain. Okay, everybody ready? Rolling. Rolling. One, two, three. Holy D. Dare Leon, who walked in heaven. Lean and skinny, about six foot seven. Holy D. Don't we know you ain't our brother or your friend or foe? Or other. Papa, I want to step on you. Okay, great. Cut.